Curtis P-40 is one of the legendary fighter planes of World War II. And in this video, I'm going to show you what we get in the box, remote control features, how to use the remote controller. Also, I'm going to give you some information, some quick history information about this RC plane. Okay, let's begin. First of all, this RC plane is also suitable to use with Futaba S-Bus and DSM receiver. If you would like to know some technical specifications, the weight 384 millimeters, length 328 millimeters, the total weight is 66 grams, 1S LiPo battery, 400 milliamp hours, which gives you a flight time around 10 to 12 minutes, depends on your using or flying characteristics. By the way, the model name is XKA220. P40 fighter by XK or you can search it as WL Taurus. Anyway, I'm just going to give the links in the description. XKA220 is a four channel 3D 6G airplane and there are lots of protection, which is nice. Our four channel remote controller, which I'm going to give you the details. 400 milliamp hours, one is life of battery. I bought the two battery version. There are also one battery version and three battery version. Landing gears, a small screwdriver, spare screws, and a 1S USB, LiPo charger, spare propeller, the plane itself. So, we have functional ailerons, elevator, and rudder. We also see a French flag here, and this is the time that I need to give you some history. Curtis P-40 Warhawk is an American single-engined all-metal fighter. The first flight year is 1938 and also this P-40 design actually was a modification of the previous Curtis P-36 Warhawk. They did this because it reduced the development time and enabled a rapid entry into production and operational service. So this was aimed to get the job done for the World War II actually. And this plane has served to lots of allied powers until the end of the World War II. And this plane was the third most produced American fighter of the World War II. After the P-51 Mustang, it also has a you know a RC version, and also the P-47 by November 1944. When the production ended, there had been built 13,738 P-40 Warhawks, all at Curtis Wright Corporation's main production facilities in Buffalo, New York. But as you can see on the plane, we see the French flag, not the American flag, because in 1943 also as an allied power, French started to use this plane in the World War II. But weirdly, this plane is retired actually in Brazilian Air Forces. I'm not sure what the manufacturer of this RC plane thinking. The original manufacturer is an American company. There should be American flag. Okay, French use it, but it also retired in the Brazilian Air Force. So I don't know why they have used the French flag on this. Maybe they have target the French you know, customers for this product. Anyway, let's keep going. This propeller has an awesome feature. When you crash, this propeller is just pops out to keep itself from getting broken. And what you need to do is just to push it and it is installed again. I have crashed this tiny RC plane more than 20 times and nothing 
has been broken and you'll see it when I'm going to try to fly it. Some little you know, damages, but it's a phone, not too important. The battery compartment, where we plug in the battery here. You can also use your small batteries for the tiny drones. If you have some tiny drones, this is the same plug. Elevators functional, rudder functional, aileron functional. And let me, let me install the landing gears. Okay, our plane is ready to fly. Now, I just would like to show you the remote controller features. This RC plane has three flying levels for beginners and there is a medium mode I think some less experienced users just like me and 3D stunt mode which turns off the gyro because this RC plane comes with onboard gyro which levels itself while you are using the gyro mode on. Okay, let me plug in the battery and show you how it works. Remote controller requires four AA batteries and plugging in the battery. If you get this one for you, I suggest you to insert the battery first, plugged in, close and put the plane on a flat surface. Turn on the remote controller. When it's on the flat surface and you turn on the radio controller or remote controller, the gyro just calibrates itself. The default mode is the beginner mode. The gyro is on. Okay, let's see if it connected. Yes, it is connected. So I just like show. Look, look at this. See. Pay attention the ailerons and at the beginner level you have very little control on the controls look at this look at the aileron and now look see you have more control and to turn on and turn off the gyro mode See, it's now in gyro mode. See, ailerons. I'm not sure if you can see it. And on this one, if you press again this button, gyro mode off. See, nothing happens. You still heard some sound like the gyro is working, but it is not. We also have rather which allows us to make tighter turns this is the full speed let's go and fly this awesome warbird okay plugging in the battery battery plugged in Put it on a flat ground. Now the gyro is calibrating. Yes. And when you crash, to keep the propeller, the propeller pops out instead of, instead of getting broken. And you need to press this and it's ready. Now the gyro mode is on the default mode and this is the beginner mode we have low control let's start
With beginner mode, we have low control on the directions. And, and with one press, this is the medium level now, I have more control. With each crash, the propeller pops out and it keeps it safe. So it, it doesn't get broken. And now I'm going to take off with the hand launch and gyro mode. Then I'm going to turn off the gyro mode and make try to make some stunts. Okay. We need to gain some altitude. Now I am going to turn back. Three distant mode, yes. Loop. Yes. There is too much wind, that's why the wind stops the plane to make the stunts. But we made the loop. I am going to try to have a roll. Let's see if we can make a roll. not a plane that you can fly in a windy weather and unfortunately we are unlucky today about the wind the wind is too powerful but I would like to give one more try take off One more loop, yes. 